Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the most irresistible, soft, gooey and aromatic cinnamon rolls from scratch. This recipe has everything you need to create that bakery worthy cinnamon rolls right in your kitchen. So do well to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get baking. So here are the ingredients we'll be needing for this recipe. So we need some flour, milk, one egg, some sugar, butter. I'm using unsalted butter, but feel free to use margarine if that's what you have. And if you're using margarine, please keep the salt and yeast. And also we need a large bowl and a scraper. So in the large bowl, I'm going to add in the wet ingredients, which is the milk, the egg, sugar, and salt. And I'm going to mix this everything up together. So do note that the list of ingredients and measurements will be in the description box below. So do well to check it out. So the next thing I'm going to add is the instant dry yeast, which doesn't need to be activated because it's instant. So I'm just going to mix this up together. And the last thing I'll go in is the flour. And then I'm just going to use a spatula to fold everything together. So now that everything has come together, I'm going to now start kneading this. So with my clean hands, I'm going to just gather everything together again in the bowl and I'm going to transfer onto my work surface and I'm going to start kneading this. So now I'm going to transfer it onto my work table and I'm going to knead for about five minutes. So after five minutes of kneading, now is the right time to get our butter and we're going to add our butter onto our dough and then we're going to work the butter into the dough. Please feel free to use your stand mixer if you have one. My major aim on this channel is to show you that you can actually bake amazing and delicious mouth-watering bakes and treats in the comfort of your home even without some major equipment and tools. So you're just going to knead for about 20 minutes with your hand. If you're mixing with the with your stand mixer you're going to mix for about 15 minutes on high speed. So I'm going to show you how you're going to know if your dough is ready either by either if you're using your hand or your stand mixer. So I'm just going to do like a window pane test. So the window pane test lets you see just how strong and um, elastic your dough is at any point. So after sufficient kneading, you'll be able to like stretch the dough much more thinly so you're just going to stretch from side to side without it um, tearing but at this point I, I already know that my dough is ready so I'm just going to stop kneading here so I'm just trying to make the ball the dough into a ball so it gets smooth on the surface and I'm going to place it into my bowl and allow this to rise for about 40 to 50 minutes or until it doubles in size. So my, my dough has doubled in size. Now I'm going to just punch it down and add on to the next stage. So now I'm just going to dust my work surface with some flour and I'm going to start rolling out. So I try to shape the dough into a square so that it can be easy for me to roll out into a perfect square. So try to roll your dough very thin so you don't get those big chunky cinnamon rolls that doesn't really look nice. So just try as much as possible to 
roll this out as thin as possible as you can. So now I'm trimming off the edges so that I can get a perfect square. Note that the extra you're trimming, you're trimming away, you don't need to throw it out. Just roll it into a ball, let it rest a little bit and then you're just going to now use it for another set of your cinnamon roll if you want to. So now I'm adding my butter. I'm just going to butter my dough. Please don't be like me. I forgot to bring up my butter on time. That's why it's looking a bit chunky. But after that, I'm just going to now spread my cinnamon sugar onto the dough and spread it evenly. So now the next thing we're going to do is to roll it into a log and please roll this tightly so you can get a very nice looking cinnamon roll when you cut it. So I'm just going to roll it into a long log and tightly too. So after rolling, the next thing is to get our baking dish and I'm going to cut this into equal halves first. That's how I measure to get almost the same size of each roll. So I cut in the middle first and then I start to eyeball it. You can use um, the, reg the regular uh, dental floors but this serrated knife works best for me. So you're just going to cut it in a seesaw motion and not like just cut all the way down. So cut in a seesaw motion so you can get a very nice spiral looking cinnamon roll. So after that, I'm just going to cover it and let it rise for 30 minutes until it doubles in size again so this is our last um, proofing so now i'm going to get one egg and i'm going to break them and egg wash our amazing cinnamon rolls so after egg washing them we're going to now bake our cinnamon roll in our preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until it turns golden brown and we're going to have the perfect looking cinnamon roll and delicious as well so this is our cinnamon roll looking very nice and sweet so now you can go ahead and add your topping of choice you can add your cream cheese frosting or your um, um, sugar glaze which is your powdered sugar and little water and just glaze over this and enjoy your amazing cinnamon roll. So I'm just going to get one out to show you how fluffy and nice this cinnamon roll is. This is the only cinnamon roll recipe you will ever need. So make sure you try this recipe and make sure you drop your comments for me and I'll be so glad to hear from you. So until next time, thanks for watching and happy baking.